so hey guys welcome back to yet another tutorial in matlux vfx i hope everybody is doing well today we are going to do some uh, beauty fixes inside one shot using silhouette or auto paint tools you can see i'm using the latest version of silhouette and let's jump into the tutorial okay here i have the footage i can drag that footage inside this trace window for creating a new session or we have yet some other options here you can create a new sequence you can create a new session you can also import footage inside silhouette using this option so i am selecting this layer and click on this icon so there is a pop up box coming so yeah we can just write a name like uh, beauty beauty fix okay i have selected the template as a roto paint and i have kept all those things as default click on this okay button here we have a footage i'm sorry that my footage is lifted up because i have rendered an mp4 inside nuke so make sure the color space is R srgb for a tiff sequence for an exr sequence make sure the color space is linear so i'm keeping it as srgb so let's play and see what we can fix here okay the footage looks awesome and here you can see a lot of blemishes or pimples on her forehead and also on her cheeks right okay so we will remove all those pimples and all these things and also we can improve her iris color because it looks stunning but it looks somewhat desaturated so we'll improve the saturation of her iris and also we can improve the a uh, gold tone in her nose ring and also we can change the hue of her lips a bit so that it looks attractive and also we can remove this tattoos from this shot like uh, yeah we have a lot of scope of work over there so let's start like uh, we'll change the color of her iris first so for that i have a roto tool and i mean i have a roto node and i have a paint node here let's go into the properties of roto node and select a circle draw a circle over her left iris and let's track this circle so in the object list you can see the circle has been drawn and here are some properties of that circle so take the tracker tool and you can see all those tracker tool properties we have point tracker we have planar tracker and also we have mocker tracker here i'm using mocker tracker and i'm just turning like all these options off and i'm going to track now you have noticed that i'm not creating a layer for here uh, for the circle shape because silhouette automatically generates a layer in the latest versions so i'm going to right away track that's nice so now i'll just rename this left left eye i'll just rename this as left eye um yep now i'll just take yet another shape go back to the first frame and just draw a shape over the right eye just a rough shape over here okay make sure this layer i mean this shape is outside this layer and take the tracker tool click on this tracker option okay so our tracking is done for the iris now let's take this tracking data inside paint node and uh, let's see how we can change the color of this iris very easily okay before that i'll just rename this as right okay right eye okay now we have the tracking uh, for left eye and right eye separately in separate layers so take the paint node go into the paint node properties by clicking on this edit node option here so now we have to import those tracking data from roto into the paint node so for that what we have to do is like we have to connect Uh, from this yellow tab uh, in the roto node into the paint the same yellow tab inside the paint node and come back to the paint properties here we have like an option for transform and we have a pull down menu here okay so here we can see all those layers which we uh, tracked inside roto node so by connecting this thing here we can import all those tracked layers from roto node into the paint node so 
I'm gonna select the right eye here okay now we are gonna uh, change the color of this iris for the first frame so I'll just take the color yeah the color tool you can see shift C is the shortcut for color tool and now I'll just select the red okay I'll just connect here okay let's suppose I don't want this much red so I will just keep it as this red and let's paint it down so I'll make this opacity as 15 okay this looks okay or what we can do is like uh, you can take the color correct tool and you can play with some uh, properties over here and you can use that color correct or you can uh, increase the hue and you can paint over here I'm just using the color tool here I'll make it blue a bit blue because that looks more attractive so yep okay that looks nice right so uh, if you want to like reveal back some of these areas you can take the eraser node and just erase those areas okay so next step is like uh, go back to the auto paint uh, options here you can see whatever strokes we have painted we can see all those strokes here so let's select that strokes and make sure you have selected the right eye or the right layer for the track and make sure you have checked on this match move option so that these strokes will be match moved with that track okay and just click on this option you can see those strokes are getting animated using those uh, tracking data yeah awesome the color has been changed nice okay so i will go back to the first frame and let's take the color tool again and let's paint this eye a bit okay that looks a little more so i will keep it as like 10 and i'll just paint over again mm -hmm. okay now select that layer here and make sure you're selecting the right tracking layer for that and always make sure the match move is checked on and just plate forward okay that's cool the color of the eyes has been changed okay now what I can do is like uh, uh, yep I will improve the gold tone in this thing that's that's pretty easy right the same technique but before that what we can do is like go back into the roto node and I will just take the tracks for all those areas where I'm gonna work okay so yep uh, first I will track this area I'll just draw a rough shape over here go back to the transform uh, tracker properties and I'll just turn on perspective because there might be some perspective changes because of this Z projection of the nose so yeah I'll just track let's we have an option here like uh, stabilization things let's click on this layer and see how the track has came yeah I think it's quite good only don't don't just blame on this all these things let's see how the track is coming inside uh, first of all I will just rename the layer as nose ring let's take that inside paint node okay now I'll just select okay, let's keep this as a color okay 10 is fine I'll just improve the color oh, let's, let's be far I'm just doing some CC over here okay okay that looks attractive uh, I don't know that that's way far I guess but let's try and see how it is coming just select the strokes make sure you have selected the right tracking layer until now it seems good obviously because of the stabilization uh, you can see the footage is skewed a lot but let's turn it off yeah, that looks awesome man yep so that work is done I know the color li looks little odd but make sure when you are doing the work <laughs> make sure you are choosing the right color now we will change the uh, hue of our lips now we will track the 
lips as well as the foreheads and cheek okay so yeah I, like i can create a new layer and draw a shape inside that and track we can do that as well mm -hmm. now i have drawn a shape in this layer let's track i'm just turning the perspective and everything on and let's track so we got a track over here and let's name it as lips okay now we'll just track over this forehead let's draw a shape over here okay make sure this shape is outside this layer take the rotor properties select okay now we track the forehead now let's track the uh, cheeks okay let's draw a shape over here here we have a lot of perspective changes so draw a shape very carefully here okay let's track this side yeah the tracks looks good and i'll rename this as um, forehead and also i'll rename this as cheeks okay so let's go back into the paint node and let's start our work first of all i will just change the hue or uh, i'll change the color of these lips so for that what we can do is like uh, we can take the color correct node yeah you can improve the color by like this it's becoming very less because we have our opacity is so less we can do this this looks weird right so i don't want that thing to happen let's see how this is coming okay let's keep it as 50 and let's take the hue uh, as our tool here i'll keep the softness 100 and let's paint it and see how it is coming okay so I'll take the blur node a bit and just blur this edges a bit and take the eraser and erase all those unwanted areas I'll take the hue again sorry the color correct tool and just draw like keeping it a 25 and draw all of this area a little bit add a little bit this side okay so let's let's suppose this is our final uh, cc for this area and let's paint somewhat this area also because it needs some fine tuning there okay now we have painted one frame uh, for her lips select those strokes and make sure the layer is selected and the match mode option is turned on just play it forward wow that looks awesome right okay so now the next work which we are going to do is like uh, fixing all these blemishes or uh, pimples right ahead on her forehead and also on her cheeks so let's go into the first frame where we are seeing all those pimples or this frame we are gonna see all the pimples 35th okay in the 35th frame i'm gonna explain you one concept like in silhouette latest version we have uh, one beautiful thing like we can separate the uh, rgb or input as two different layers one is color layer and one is a uh, detail layer where we will see the frequency separation has been done and yeah it's it's a separate layer so uh, how we can check that is like go back into the paint node properties inside this view pull down menu you can see a lot of layers like output foreground color layer detail layer paint node just check on this color layer you can see all those color values visible here no textures are seen here if you want to see the textures in a different layer just click on this detail layer so that all those noise frequencies has been separated and kept as a layer so that we can work separately on this uh, uh, this layer like uh, the noise layer and we can add that above the uh, normal color layer so that we won't be disturbing the color while we do some pain fixes for this kind of uh, blemish or spot removals so uh, just go back to the output layer and let's start painting out so 
we have that option here like color detail and also some parameters here so if you want to uh, edit something or do some operations only on the color values you can uh, click the color uh, option here and you you can just paint it out also if you want to do something uh, into the detail or on the noise so just click on this detail and you can paint it out here so i'll just show you how what is the difference of that things so if you are uh, keeping it as normal and just blurring this area what is going to happen is like sorry what is going to happen is like it will blur the color as well and uh, also the no noise so control z so click on this color option and now let's paint and see you can see only the color has been affected not the texture you can see those uh, line and all there so if we click on this detail option and if you are gonna uh, like our task is to remove all these pimples we have to select this detail so that only the detail will be, will be affected and the color will be retained okay so what i am gonna do is like uh, select the blur tool and also we can use the blemish tool also so uh, because blemish will add some uh, rough textures after blurring those areas so right now i'm just using this blur tool and click on this detail we have a lot of options like we can uh, increase or decrease the value of uh, like blurring uh, in the details and also we can uh, differentiate by that uh, coarse medium fine right now i'm just going by default you can play with these options later okay <coughs> so blur so um, what i'm gonna do is like um, take the blur tool let's start blurring this area you can see the color is not getting affected only the texture has been blurred awesome right but this looks so smooth i don't want this much smooth so what we can do is like uh, uh, we can before painting only we can keep it as 0.5 and we can paint also what we can do is like take the eraser node but we can't erase only the detail thing we have to come back to normal and we have to keep it this as 35 and let's reveal back some of the i don't know 35 let's keep it as 25 and let's reveal back some details okay this looks decent right okay this looks quite decent we need some grain and all about that let's suppose yeah this looks somewhat decent but also it's blurred a little bit this side okay so make sure you are doing in a good level okay okay now le let's select this layer and select the forehead layer for the track and now let's do the track and let's see how it is coming so here, here you can see like we have painted out in the uh, middle range so you have to just click on this all frames and just start so that you can see it is starting from the first frame and let's see how the result is coming okay so uh, if you want to reveal back some of the areas you can just yeah you can see all these areas has been affected so you can reveal that and again um, track track those strokes so also you can just roto and just do a pre multiply and composite it later uh, but i'm just using roto paint alone so yeah you can just reveal and uh, just match move that stroke throughout the work range so now let's take the cheek so you can see the last frame we have a lot of detail so i'm just doing the same thing click on this detail layer right now i'm I, this time i'm just keeping it as 0.5 and let's see how it is coming yeah it is coming this looks good okay select those strokes keep the correct tracking layer and just do the same thing for this also okay now let's play and see how it is coming that's awesome so we have done some beauty fixes for this shot and you can see that result here 
now we can do a lot of things in this shot like changing her color of her hair and also i'm going to remove this tattoo now and also we can remove like uh, we can remove some stuff like this chain can be removed or the color of the chain can be changed or the color of her dress can be changed and we can do a lot of stuff using our auto paint tools so right now i'll just show you one option so that uh, it will help you in any removal task I'm going to go back to the roto node and track this tattoo now. Okay, just draw a rough shape here. And yep. Okay, I'm just turning the perspective on. Okay, just track it off. Okay, cool. So we have the track here. You can see the track is good, right? Um what I'm going to do is like uh, I will adjust this shape a bit. Okay. I'll just click on cardinal so for the for this kind of areas I need to add two points so that it will be nice okay so now I have drawn a shape over here let's turn on the stabilization option and let's see how the shape looks okay so I have animated the shape a bit so that it looks it looks nice okay that looks nice right so um i will just rename this as tattoo okay now just go back to the paint node so right now what we are going to do is like we are going to import that mat uh, from roto node into the paint node for creating a mask for that we have an option like just connect the roto as usual and here you can see an option like obey alpha okay so uh, if you check uh this obey alpha on and if you paint something we can paint on that specific area we can just mask it out okay we don't want the paint strokes to go outside one specific area we can just mask using the mat from this roto so i'll just keep uh, the normal on and i'm going to take a color okay let's keep it yellow and let's paint and see how it is coming mm -hmm. you can see that mask has been applied now if you want some smooth edges here what we can do is like go back to the roto properties and just give a blur of five let's keep it a five and go into the paint node let's paint and see how it is coming now you can see the blur of that edges uh, in the paint strokes also so this is really useful when you want to do some uh, paint task in a specific area and you don't want the strokes to be affected some other unwanted areas you can mask it out using uh, roto mats so yep now we are going to remove this tattoo so i'm going to use clone tool or um, drag tool drag tool is my favorite so i'm just using drag tool so what i'm going to do is like uh, yeah always view on the paint node and i'm going to remove this tattoo by just dragging like this okay I know we can see a patch there but um, right now I'm just moving it forward I don't want or even we can do is like uh, an easy way of that is like take the color tool uh, color tool and just click on this thing and just draw here pick a color over here okay that's done just blur it over a little bit keep a blur of 3 and just blur this edges yep this is almost done and also if you want to pick this color a bit keep an opacity of 50 i guess 50 and just paint over a bit here over here so that the continuity will be matched blur a bit yep let's see let's keep this as a final and let's uh, do the same thing which we do is select the layer and select the proper tattoo layer and also make sure the match move is on and let's track forward you can see a lot of perspective changes happening that is because we have turned on the stabilize button so that's done and you can see the tattoo has been removed okay let's save the file okay h or f wow that looks awesome right all the work we do is like it's not noticeable that much 
the shot is looking entirely different now we can remove this tattoo also but uh, right now the tutorial is very long so i'm just leaving that away also we can change the color of her uh, hair using uh, any mat i mean using any key here and taking a mat and applying uh, a cc over there um, yeah we can do a lot of stuff here in this shot again yeah so i hope this tutorial is useful also let me know in the comments how you felt after seeing um, how we can make use of roto paint tools for such kind of work and if you guys are doing any kind of works any kind of beauty works do submit uh, that into my email id i will just have a look at it and yeah it's a community right we need to be together and learn a lot thank you guys see you later